Welcome back, Neil Lovers. Today, we're checking out Towerful Defense. So, you can grab yourself a plate. Obviously, from the name, you can tell it's going to be a tower defense game. The really cool little game that they sent over to me real fast. We're going to hop in here, check out the game for a little while. Of course, if you like it, please check the links down below. And as always, thanks for hitting that subscription and that bell. And for checking out the members area, where we're going to be releasing our second bloopers video at the end of the week. So, let's get rolling here. Flip my tower. I get the Mont's Tower, which is plus 22 HP. Plus 20 money, plus 20% money. Okay. Or I can do, I, mean, I can do it anywhere else. Hide all stat values. Ooh. The rail? The no rail? I kind of like the 100% experience here. Plus 10 tower fire rate. Tower bullet can target supplies. Plus 1 HP. Let's go with the experience right now. Now here you can select your first skill. You retain more skills later in the run. The first skill generally has better cooldown time. Effects and square brackets are only available when skills are chosen. Oh. 85% skill cooldown. Make place a lamb on the explodes when hit when it hits an enemy on explosion deals 10 plus 60% and 80%. Okay. For the for obviously the stats there. 60% uh, explosiveness and 80% uh, uh, science. Um, <laughs> it plays a bomb that explodes. Two, two rounds of tower bullets. Each bullet deals 50%. Yeah, all these things. Skill kill cap. The lightning can now kill more than 10 enemies per radius. Ooh. Plague. That has so many cooldowns to it. Or so many like extra stuff to it. Let's do it. The starter experience. Slow down time when using skills. Sure. Endless. Let's do it. Let's fight. Oh. Cannot normally be targeted by a tower bullet. So destroy this enemy before it touches the tower to recover HP to the tower. Get additional HP if the tower's HP is already maxed. And have a chance to get an item after fight. Oh. There we go. Oh, that's quick. You see that? That's quick as hell. That was really quick. Open supply box. One of two. Um, hmm. Let the skill below to open auto skill setting. I'm okay with aiming. I don't want to auto skill. I'm okay with aiming. Let's sell it. Plus 2% tower bullet chance to freeze enemy. Ooh. Oh, that's a tower fire rate. Let's go with that one. The port. What does that do? Increase power of your support units. Negative decreases instead. Let's go skill cooldown. And let's go with uh, projectile dodge. What does element do? That amounts of stats. So plus one element. I'm going to go plus one element. Oh, I should check what my skill does, actually. You now use you can use the lock icon to escape items in the shop. Okay, so that does deal with elements. Okay, making sure does nothing. It, this counts as one glitchy. Cannot be locked in the shop. Oh, okay. Increases play radiant or range. Yes. Swing a blade around the tower. Damage when it hits enemy. Skill kill cap. Blade can now not kill more than ten enemies per rotation. Oh. Let's do it anyway. That's kind of cool. Just flips around the tower. You can use your mouse wheels to select skill that you activate by clicking it. Okay. Those. Oh, 
Okay. Plus one additional infected enemy tower bullet can target in the same time. Let's sell it. Ooh. Go with that one. So it speeds up. Let's get the 15%. Plus 6% tower range. Ooh. Unfreeze frozen enemies and deal two point okay damage to each other. Increase plague's range. Swings more. I don't want minus one element. Let's get a glitchy. I don't know what the, I, don't, I don't know what it does, but whatever. A non glitchy item with the same rarity with this and it has never appeared in this run will appear in the shop as soon as possible. Upon the last second of each fight, recover five HP of that tower. Spawns a spring field inside the tower's range. Enemies will be pushed back when hit for the first time. Oh. That's kind of cool, actually. Let's do that. Ooh, that was a good one. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I like that a lot, actually. Uh, what's the melee tower? What's the melee damage? Is this melee damage? It is. Okay. I want to make sure. Ooh. That's the one I wanted anyway. So we'll do that. And then I have no more money. Thunderstruck. There we go. See that? That was nice. And there. Beautiful. Ooh, things are starting to get weird. Oh, yeah, things are getting weird there. Spawns a spring inside. Yeah, I'll take that because that's the second one. I'll do that one. Plus two tower bullet infection chance. If better enemies move faster, deal and take more damage. They can affect other enemies by touch. No, Thunder Strike deals. Okay. Air Blade has a chance to strike an enemy with a lightning when it hits the second time more. Ooh. I'm going to lock this up too because I want that. Ow. God, there's so much going on at the same time. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There it is, boom. Gosh dang! 
Jeez, man. Spend one talent point and get $50. If, if there's not enough talent point available, you get five. No. 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 Okay. Let's get some range. Skill, kill, cap won't apply to supplies. Ooh. I get the third strike range too, so it's a little farther. All right, I see the things I gotta kill first. Now. This is actually getting kind of crazy. Holy crap. Holy hell, this is getting crazy. Okay, plus one talent point. Like it. Oh, you only have one right now. Let's see that. Um, I will take range. Spawn more supplies, please. Push back great distance, please. Please. Plus four that tower range. I'll change that too. It's get glitchy too, just because I'm a jerk. I'm a, I'm a dummy. I need to get my damage up, though, I'll tell you that much. Yeah, I need to get my damage up. I'm doing no damage right now. Them real fast. I'm glad this. I'm glad I put on the. Because at first I was like, oh no, I'm not going to worry about the sub, the um, slow down time thing. But I was like, yeah, definitely slow down time. Because this is getting ridiculous. Holy hell. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Dang. All right, folks, thank you so much for joining me for this is super, super cool. I like this. This is obviously going to get much better along the way. It's still game still in development, but definitely something I'm looking forward to. So thanks so much for joining me for the Indie Buffet. We'll help you find your next favorite indie. Peace.